Okay, here we go with the countdown show. He's out of his cage and left on the stage. The origins behind Origins, right? <laughs> well, pretty much, you know, it, it consists of nine covers and three remakes. You know, three Kiss songs, uh, two that I wrote, one that uh, Gene and uh, Brian Adams wrote. And the other nine songs are pretty much groups that I was influenced by from a teenager, you know, Led Zeppelin, The Cream, Jimi Hendrix Experience, Steppenwolf, and you know, they're all fun songs. I mean, it's a really fun record. I'm really excited about it, you know. Warren Hewart did a great job mixing it, and you know, the fact that I have all these guest stars on it is just gonna make it a special, special record, and uh, I think everybody's gonna be very pleased with it. I put my signature on everything I do. Yeah, pretty much most of the arrangements are the same. I mean, in Emerald, I extended the song by reintroducing the second half of the second verse after the solos that me and Slash trade off on. In Rock and Roll Hell, I really did an extended guitar solo on the outro of that, which ends off the record. And that's gonna be a real treat for Kiss fans because I never played on Rock and Roll Hell. That was when I was exiting the group you know, and they were doing Creatures of the Night. I think Vinnie Vincent might have played on that track. And uh, so, you know, KISS fans will have an insight into what it would have sounded like if I sang it and if I played on it, so. Well, I knew that I wanted Slash on Emerald because that's such a kick-ass riff song and it's just some wild trading off you know, on the original version in Thin Lizzy, because they had two lead guitar players. So I, immediately I realized that that would be the best one for me and Slash to trade off on. That was pretty cool. I got John Fiber on the studio. I extended the solo for Parasite twice as long. I did the, the first half of the solo, which is pretty true to the original. And John just went crazy on the second half of the solo. Uh, an amazing guitar player, great friend, and fun to work with. Very fast and... Uh, very focused. You know, I've known Lita forever. I mean, everyone's aware of the fact that Lita was in The Runaways. The Runaways used to open for Kiss, so I've known Lita since the 70s. Uh, and I've been trying to get Lita on a record for years, and finally, you know, Origins Volume 1 presented the, the perfect platform to get Lita on. You know, she, we didn't know what she was going to do. You know, I had already tracked Wild Thing, and. Uh, there was a guitar solo there and everything, and I had sang the vocal, and we ended up replacing some of my vocals with her, and I let her play the guitar solo, uh, you know, the main section of the solo, uh, instead of me, because I just thought it, it lent itself to the style of that song. And the only lead I'm playing on that whole record is the intro solo. The lead that did all, uh, all the other guitar work. That's all it was. You know, I wasn't sure if Paul Stanley was going to actually come through with what he said he was going to do. You know, his schedule's always so busy. A couple of times I called him and uh, he, he had to cancel on me. But, you know, I persevered and eventually, you know, we decided on Fire and Water. You know, he, we sent him the tracks, he threw down his lead vocal and uh, I got it back, put down a guitar solo and boom, it happened. Well, I just finished the, uh, a Lego show, the run of shows on the West Coast. You know, we played Los Angeles, ended in Vegas. Um, and we've been performing Emerald right now, and that's going over great. Uh, I got to figure out one or two more to do when we kick off this nest leg in, in Florida and work our way back up, uh, back up to New York. Uh, I'm always writing. You know, the next album I put out after Origins Volume 1 will probably be another studio album with original material. And then, of course, everybody's asking me, is there going to be a Volume 2? Probably down the road, but not until I do another studio record, I think. Hi, this is Ace Frehley. Subscribe to Louder Noise, the loudest noise on Earth.